Victor Galvin. Yeah, 24-7 mindset. Yeah, 24-7 mindset. Let's go. 24-7 mindset. It's the same thing. So as a leader, you go over stages in your life that you just got to be patient because you know that time fix problems, time fix uh, situations based on, on, on the reaction. So, 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 so I really believe that you got to have uh, patience yeah, as yeah. a leader. And you, don't you, panic. You don't panic. And, yeah. and, and that's good. I'm good at that because I know the problem and I already know what's the solution. So just by me kind of understand, okay, let it go. I know what's going to happen. That's going to bring the question so I can put it back in track or, or whatever. It, it works both ways. But me, you got to look at, look at the long picture. I yeah. always talk about that people don't see on the outside of the wall. I always see five miles in front of the wall because of my experience, my problems, my mentor and all that stuff. So a lot of the time you also got to look at that problem that, that, that how it's going to get resolved, what is going to be the end. So you, you, sometimes you just got to sit and enjoy, man. Even though your team is falling apart, then you just got to <laughs> just got to enjoy, man. Have them learn. You know, they got to learn from their own mistakes sometimes because even if you're guiding your team, if you're pushing your team, you cannot be there all the time telling them. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a true thing because they say how to build a man is break him down first right. and then no. build him back. Okay, I understand that. Okay, why is it important to talk to others when things are getting tough? Why is it important to talk to your team when things are getting tough? It's important to talk to your team at all times, not just when it gets tough. Yeah, yeah. Communication is key for any success, any organization, any relationship, any family, any anything. So it's, it's, it's always important to talk to your team. And based on the quality of the conversations, you're going to fix it. So, so if you've got big problems... And, and, and everybody's yelling. You come in and start yelling, screaming. It, 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 guess what? Nothing is going to get resolved, and everybody's going to go south, and, and the whole thing, and ego is going to kick in, and, yeah, and yeah. now you've got a bigger problem. So sometimes it's better just not say anything and just say, hey, Tim, uh, let's regroup. I got something to do. Um, you just don't, sometimes you got to check the, 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 the level of the, of, the, of the conversation. Yeah, yeah. And after everybody cooled down, then, then, then you go back. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. Big, people ask from stupidity. People ask from ego. People ask from they just don't want to admit that they're wrong. Yeah. In front of everybody, me, I always admit. I yeah. always say it's my fault. I didn't check this. I take full responsibility of this, and this is what the problems that came in. Uh, this problem should be fixed based on this because I was the problem. So. It, it's not, it doesn't belong to you. You didn't got the right data. I didn't set you out for success or, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, how do you make sure you still have time for fun when you really are busy? I know, this is just I, I, know, I know, I know, but, you know, the, Jose, There's no time what, what kind of fun are you talking about, you know? I, I'm having fun <laughs> when I'm busy. I'm having fun when I'm building. I'm having fun... When, when I'm tearing shit out, you know, like... That's why it's hard to ask questions, because I when I read the question, I go, I already know he's going to say... Yeah, I love that. I'm, not, I'm having fun, fun working. But, but if I'm working, I'm not having fun, right? And yeah, I'm having fun working, you know. Jose, at the end of the day, man, if you ask me, hey, Victor, Victor what motivates you the most? Helping people. Yeah. And how I'm helping people? Helping people be better. Helping people uh, get inspired. Helping people be part of my business. Helping people. Uh, I'm, I'm leading people to be successful so they can make more money, better positions. They can own companies and stuff like that. So if I'm not working, pushing some of the things, so, so I put myself on the spot. All right, let me help these people so, so I can enjoy. But at the same time, I got to go and produce so I can set them for success. Mm -hmm. See, like, it's like, a, it's like a, I'm always against me. I, I got to set them up so they can be successful so, so now I can be happy. Mm -hmm. So like put all the pressure on me instead of going recommending or going to, hey, go to this company. This company is going to take care of you. It's going to open a position for them. Because they may not do the same commitment as I do, because because me, I know what I'm doing. That I'm gonna impact that family so much, and the shorter time, the shorter period, the the better, faster that 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 person is gonna take it to the next level. So mm -hmm. the, the the happier I get. 
So that's why I'm obsessed of working because I'm, I'm, I'm always working to set them up for success. Okay, so Victor, we know pressure makes diamonds, right? A lot of pressure makes diamonds, right? Over years, right? Let me ask you a question. Can you think of a time when you felt so much pressure and you used it to do something great? How, uh, how, how can you turn pressure into doing something great, Victor? Actually, you know, I'm better under pressure. Some people are. Tell, explain I'm, I'm, to me, please. I'm, 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 I'm 200 percent better under pressure because a lot of the times, if you don't know what you don't know, right? Yeah. You're comfortable. But if you if you put your yourself okay, commit first and figure the rest out later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happens there? You commit. Now you your mind changed. You gotta go and freaking really do it. And you don't got no ways to do it to be able to change this commitment that you did or to achieve this commitment. So your mind is going to start thinking, what can I do? So now you cannot sleep. Or now you're going to go and pray to God, God help me. Now you're imploring everybody. So somehow everybody knows that you need help. And now the help start coming in together because you're saying it and you're attracting it and you're fixing. So a lot of the times, so when you're under pressure, your best ideas comes in. So there's a book, 101. So, so the key of all this is for you to find 101 things on this bottle. Normally, when you get into 77, you're done, okay? You're done. It's black. It's got two stripes, three stripes. You, you, so you put every little thing. So what happened after 77, normally, somebody already invent what happens for, from 77 to 101. So when you go 102, now you design something beautiful. Mm. So the key of all this is redesign. If you want to redesign the bottle, is to find 102 things different, and automatically now you're different. You can bring the bottle to the market or sell it or whatever. That's your idea. So that's the whole book about if you want to change the hat, you got to find 101 things different. So when you go after the 77, now you start inventing, your pressure start pushing you to, to, to identify, okay, what can I do? Maybe instead of uh, putting a front, maybe I can do the round. Maybe I can three, put three shape, whatever, whatever. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you start inventing, and that's always when, the, when you are under pressure. But you got to be concentrated for that. On, on the other way, you, you go into a problem, your automatic reaction is to, what can I do uh, uh, as soon as possible to be able to fix the solution? Because... The, the, the body is designed to react. The mind is designed to, 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 to act, like, like to, to, to go in defense mode. Yeah, yeah, See yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? Yep, yep, yep. The mind is never designed to say, oh, nothing is going to happen. The mind, the first thing is how do I protect myself? How do I protect from getting hurt? How do I protect everything? It's designed to, 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 to survive. Yeah, 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 yeah. See what I'm saying? Yep. So, 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 so that's when it happened. It, 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 it will start pushing you to take it to the next level so you can start bringing ideas to, so you can fix that problem that you have under pressure.